like humans have entered our top secret location. Nearly switch. Following in the footsteps of other brave vocals who have done backing with this brutal fur. They're here to try and beat the, the almost impossible game It's not a game show, it's a way of life. Don't ah. think about your children, forget about your wife. You're a business guy, chasing your dreams. But dressing up in costumes and falling into strings, it's not impossible. Almost impossible game show. To the show. Now listen up, because these are the rules. Today's contestants have entered the arena. Ten hot, hot heroes in second-hand leotards. They're each on a mission to try and beat the almost impossible game show. Sure. To successfully complete their mission, they must win five games, which tonight include... Green Fling. Sweet Corn Rock. And Music and Cheese. These games are almost impossible, so contestants have been given 50 lives to try and beat them. If they fail once, they must try again, and again, and again. Each contestant has a maximum of 15 lives per game. In order to beat the show, contestants must win five games without losing all of their 50 lives. Let the games begin! This is the games arena, which is an orchard full of Adam's apples, and the contestants are going to jump the wall and steal the Adam's apples and throw them into a bag or something. Let's meet the first contestant. His name is Benji. He's a video games tester, which is a full-blown adult who plays video games for money. That's a song about an Italian plumber who's addicted to magic mushrooms. If I'm not gaming, I'm beatboxing. Mm, sounds like he's agreeing with a sentient drum mate, kit. Mate. Big ball boy beatboxing Benji's playing Slippy Hill. Oh, just carry on down there until you pass that black line. And slow down. Yeah, straight down there. Yeah, and that's it. Is Oliver Reed giving him directions? Very choice instructions You there. don't have any options. You can't turn left or right. Well, he, but he has to go straight down, right? Yeah. Straight down the hill, and he's got 15 attempts to do it, and the hill is covered in tat. Just flame. Off he goes. Down at his hands, down at his bed, bed. There he is now. Big what? smiling boy. Fail. Mate, mate, mate. He's saying mate all the time. Come on now, Benji. Run it, run it. Oh. Thinking. Got this. He have it. All right, now come on, now Benji, can't down the hill. Making his undulations down the hill, can he do this it? This is a good eat. Oh, uh. And his ribs. Mate. Mate. He says mate more times than a pal who spent too much time on a pirate's shoulder, didn't he? Does. Mate. Final attempt. Making his way down the Persian furnace. Oh, Sweet smell of caravan oh. soaked coals rises up into his nostrils as he goes down the hill and onto his hole. <laughs> Very happy about those, Wee. eh? Me. A jolly man. Uh, jolly man. Uh, He's got me in spandex, looking like the illegitimate child of Mr. Motivator and Shabba Ranks, and expect me to do it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. So as Benji does the walk of shame back to the contestant shed, there's loads more going on around the course. So let's check in with another contestant. What's 250 miles long is salty and finishes itself off in the Dead Sea. Eh? It's the River Jordan. I can sing, I can dance, I can do magic. So I can't lose, really. Jordan is a health and safety advisor from Suffolk. Sorry, I just haven't had anything to eat yet. Right, he's playing yum yum run. He's got 10 seconds to take a bite out of this delicious English treat that is a yum yum. Right, easy now, doing a bit of stretches. Oh, oh. And manages to hurt himself, because he's a health and safety advisor. Oh, oh. Just rub my ankle. <sighs> right, there isn't a warehouse in the country Whoa. that will let you near a fire extinguisher, Jordan, as he starts off here on the runway. Gorgeous little tumble there. Let's get it now in uh, 
slow motion. As you can see, he's running across with a punnet full of pears for the jockey's porridge, and he manages to scald a race horse with it. There he is now going to Australia. He's going to laugh up and he's going to bite it. He's going to put it in his mouth. He's going to swallow it. He's going to tell all his friends that he did a really good job because he's all got sugar in his throat. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Mm. Did he get it? Nah. <laughs> Now Jordan running up, looking at that yum yum, eyeing up that yum yum. Oh! Ah! Ow! I'd love to know a bit about the history of the yum yum, do you know well, that? Well, it's, it's an English tree that dates back to the first Norman invasion of 1066. Several yum yums were uh, crocheted into the Bay or Tapestry, and it was, wow. it was modelled after William the Conqueror's pastry like ankles, because he was French. Did he just bite it? He, he got a nibble. Got a nibble. He got a nibble. He got a lovely little nibble. Challenge there. pass. Mm, oh, Goodbye, Jack. Yum, yum. First bit of the day. Oh. Oh. Health and safety oh. advisor, ladies and gentlemen. Ow. It's from my ankle. God, my back is absolutely aching. I've got this to do all day and I've only done one challenge so far. Yeah. Let's see how the other contestants did on Yum Yum Run a little earlier. Come on now. Right, we're ready for you, Yum Yum. 31 year old pastry chef Georgina got a right battering. In this territory. <laughs> Didn't beat it again. Look at that. And 18 year old hostess Andrea didn't fare well with the conveyor belt needle. She got tarred and feathered by the mayor of Yum Yum Town. Voila. Yes, she is now. Look at her. <laughs> Looking a bit like a big bird if you painted him blue. You'd give him a lot of fizzy pop. Yeah, I don't think I want that Yum Yum that badly. Want to keep my face? No one's gonna take her face, Andrea, love. Nobody's gonna do that to you. Last 15 lives! Time to be the new contestant. Now it's Amy, who is the mayor of Chart on Tweed. That's a lie. My name's Amy, I'm from Brighton and I'm 26. She wears the black cape as she is in a perpetual state of mourning for two pack and Bob Marley. Well, That's not no, true. Me, That's you? a lie. Just leave me alone, all right? 50 lives! Here we go. This is gonna be great. Top of the hill now, Amy. <laughs> wow! Down onto her butt. <laughs> The cape's not helping, guys. But it makes you look very fetching. Very fetching, indeed. <laughs> oh. Ah. Lovely little red shoes there, isn't it? Jogging <laughs> through the mud. Right, so Amy here now, starting off. Look at the wobbly ankles. Oh, no. There she is now, looking like a bit of police tape at a Vaseline massacre. Good form here, good form. Get the dance before she sets off. Some promising music being played. Ah, Amy. Uh, another interesting fact about Amy, she was the curator of a Gary Lineker wax museum which contained Gary Lineker in various stages of his career. That is a lie. Why are you getting these? Why are you making up lies? Because I'm lonely. All right. Amy here going down the hill. Down, down onto her and... Um, her backside. Not gonna comment on that. Oh, All right. I just want this so bad now. This is her final attempt. Yeah, Amy starting off here on the hill. Go, going down the hill. This looks promising. She's steering with her elbows, as you can see there. She's gonna do it! Straight over the cliff. Straight over the back line. It's a victory! Just one. That is a victory! <laughs> I know it. I know this girl had it in her. Yeah! Congratulations! Over to the hangar now to meet another contestant. It's 30 year old Dean. Mostly pie. Hey, Dean, what are you doing instead of brushing your teeth? I'm alone in a chunk. That's not the only way you get sparkling white teeth, children. Uh, you can brush your teeth. Uh, don't get a tank and drive it up and down your head because that's how you get smashed teeth. Right, Dean's going to be using his tank driving skills to take on Sweet Corn Drop. If he uses unfeasibly long arms to pick up a kernel of sweet corn and trap it into his big hot mouth. Mm. He's 15 seconds to do it. Come on, Dean. Okay, start Poor on. unfortunate man, he's got those incredibly long arms. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to laugh, but I know it's not a, it's, it's not a funny affliction. They're fake, man. It's uh -huh. grand. <sighs> you can laugh, they're fake, they're not real. Ah! <laughs> Look at his oh. rubbery arms, he's real. <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right, Dean here now trying it again. Looking like a big green raven with no wings. <laughs> They're not his real arms, don't worry, you can laugh at home. 
<laughs> Imagine his bicycle. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to take off his hat to salute the Queen of England. There he is, no Here it goes. Oh, oh, boy. Victory, man. Well done, D. He doesn't like the taste of sweet corn, but oh. I bet he likes the taste of victory. He beat the game with 48 lives remaining. Fair play, Dean. That was incredible. Well deserved, man. Well deserved. Doing a little bit of a John Travolta there as well. <laughs> uh, Are you vegetarian? <laughs> oh, I just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> doing? That's it, yeah, yeah. I want a fistful of Leo. Brand new contestant. He's a medical student. The fencing abilities of Bruce Dickinson. He enjoys a bit of jazz. Yeah, I'd say I'm middle class. I like fencing and jazz. Typical British class obsession. In Ireland, there's no class. You're just judged by how many dogs you own. I love the chaos of jazz. In a quote by Miles Davis, he says, there's no such thing as a wrong note, just a note that sounds bad. Oh, no. Actually, that's actually not what he said. He said not a note that doesn't sound good. So we do that again. <laughs> We join Leo now on his second attempt. All right, let's do it! <whistles> Off he goes. <coughs> Wobbly, bum, back, fail. <laughs> terrible, terrible Leo. I, I like his little leap that he does before he sets yeah. off, isn't it? Oh, this is oh, looking going out. This technique here known as the dog catcher's dentist. He's using it quite well and he crosses the black line. Yes, come on! Victorious, Leo. That's what I'm talking about. Victorious, I'd like to thank my mum, my dad. I'd like to thank Michael McIntyre. Michael McIntyre, of course, gave him some sleepy hill lessons on the bus on the way over. Fame for it. Coming up! Will Lord Shropshire get a shilling for the nude portrait of his sister? It's, it's Downton Abbey! I didn't feel it. One more time, guys. Shall we say boom? Yeah. Everyone has to say boom. Welcome back to the Almost Impossible Game Show, where today's ten contestants are each trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this CS gas-wielding nightclub bouncer of a show. <laughs> Lots of fun, fun happening. Dominic is on the hill, Leo's at the runway, but we're stepping into the tunnel to meet a new contestant, Actor. Actor told us if he ever gets on television, he wants to do an impression of a crab. There you go. My name is Actor. I'm 35 years old, and I'm from East London. Anything else? Well, yeah, yeah. Can you do like an impression of like a chicken as well? Buck, buck, buck up. My favorite animals are chickens. That's my pets. <clears throat> buck, buck, buck up. And their names are Jenny and Holly. Lovely. Um, Jenny is the favorite one at the moment. Buck, buck. She laid two eggs a day. Good girl, Jenny. Um, not like Holly. She only laid one. Buck, buck. Holly's in the bad books. That's a duck, isn't it? I hope she's not at home now. <laughs> buck, 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 buck up. Watching with her chicken eyes and her beak. Actor is playing groin croissant. He has got some plastic bakery attached to his Velcro suit, and this is one of the most difficult games. He has to shake all those croissants off until they fall onto the ground, and he's got ten seconds. It's quite hard. I didn't got nothing done. Chicken conjurer Actar manages to shake those one croissant. Having a terrible day with this. He's lost 12 lives. And he's still yes, tickled in crassets. So hot. Can't Fiercely embarrassed down. at his inability to shake the bakery. Yes. Excellent. Oh my days. This is now your 15th and final attempt. Yeah. Right, bendy tension in the room here now because it's the last Whoa. attempt. <laughs> There's one of them there. <laughs> Embarrassed now. I mean, uh, I don't know. Very disappointed with himself. After to whisper his sorrows into the ear of his favourite chicken. Off down the tunnel, turns around, realises it's just a wall in a, a disbanded RAF base with some light around it to make it look good for TV. Loser! Lost it. That's embarrassing. Oh, man. Over to the runway now, where Bouncing Benji is going to be taking on Yum Yum Run. All this area is the zone, and I'm in it. That's the zone as well. I'm going to be in there in a minute as well. Wait, wait, don't start. Do the wasp on that. Get that, mate. Look at that. You want me to eat that? 
Hold on a minute, Benji. All right, you worry about the game and let the wasp worry about the wasp, all right? Also, I'll have you know, that's not a regular wasp. That's long-term employee of the show, Man. Philip the Wasp, who uh, we, put a, we place a lot of value on him because he was fired for stealing petty cash, but we brought him back because he was a good character. Stayed fast hops. He doesn't know where he's going. Down. Okay, yeah, Benji now negotiating the trade mill. Gonna take a little jump now. Ah! He nibbled the tip. Nibbly snatches that tip of that young nibbled the tip and that's enough to Get win. A proper challenge this time. That was too easy for me. Make that faster, make that higher. Do the baby games. Stop showing off games. now, Benji. God bless you, son. There are plenty of games to soften hey. your calf. <laughs> Let's meet another contestant. It's 33-year-old Dominic from Colchester. I'm an officer in the police, and ladies love a man in I've uniform. I've been up all night burgling, and I want him to arrest me. I'm a terrible loser. I try not to be the weak link. I have even been known to throw away second-place medals. Not interested in them. People call me the Dark Destroyer, in it to win it. It's absolutely gorgeous. He's playing Slippy Hill. Ah, slide down into my arms. Boom! Oh, Dominic. Onto his rear. There he is now, ready to stick the handcuffs on the hill. Oh, the bailiff said no. I'm gonna do this. Calm down, Dominic. Right, he's getting fiercely emotional here. Gorgeous technique, gorgeous technique. Limber limbs, look at him, just went down. Uh, what was that? What was that? Was that a fail? No. Fail! All right, here. Gorgeous okay. dummy, getting awfully emotional. He's a passionate man. Passion weeping from his eyes. You see it going down straight down. Oh, he's running! That's how you Yes! That's it! There. I love a winner! Right, it's over to Cara now from the rivers of Medway. She lives in Gravesend. I'm always right. Simple. Right all the time. All the time? Right all the time? That's me. I sound a bit common, don't I? No. She's a 27-year-old mum of two. Yeah, I'm not very good at getting things in my mouth. My mouth is not very big. <laughs> ah, she goes. <laughs> come on now, come on. Look at this. She didn't even fall down on her first go. That's a professional. Good oh. treatment technique. A lovely little half there now. Come nice on. Little jump. And she's out of time, but I have a feeling this lady is going to uh, do very well in your memory. So I think she might do very well now. Starting off she's on the off. Well, she goes, she's going to jump gallop. Oh, I hear come on, no, come on, come on. She's so good at this game. And she's done it, of course. She's bit the tip. Brilliant. Uh... 49 lives remaining. That's pretty impressive. Watch her there. Uh... Let's check back and see how Leo is getting on. We've already seen him beat Slippy Hill, and earlier he was victorious on Yum Yum Run. Oh, fight, Leo. He's now in the hangar midway through a game of Crying Croissant, and he's got 39 lies left. Right, here he is now. Croissants are allergic to him. Yeah, that's a good sign. Lovely little middle class thrusts there. Oh, boy. Excellent. It's like someone got the dancing scene from uh, Pulp Fiction and sped it up, isn't it just? He is now Leo, named after a line. Little sweaty puffs emanate from his regal face. And some head bagging. I hate you so much! Gordon Khalees there, who has a, a lovely mug shot. Oh, if you Google it. Right. He's failed! Oh, He's failed! He's next failed! Time. He's next failed. Time. Right, so that's set back and grind croissant. Left Leo. 28 lives left after he played three games and won two. He's doing well. Runway times. Let's have runway times and see how Dean is faring with Yam Yam Run. I want that. I don't even know what it is. It looks very suspicious, but I want a bite of it. Doing this for the Northerners. Doing it for the Northerners, yeah. man. Doing yeah. it for the Northerners. I like the Northerners. Yeah, I like me them. too, yeah. Like Irish people that spend all their time down holes collecting rocks for their master's work. Yeah, they're not too fond of Thatcher either. Or order. There he is now. Come on, Deanie. Come on, Deanie. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Sideways leap. We're going to have to leave him. Come back later on. Mm. Beautiful conditions now on Slippy Hill. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's John. Oh. When's lunch? 
Oh, it's, it's not for a while. Are you very hungry? I'm hungry, boy. We'll get him some food later, will we? Uh, come on, let's do this! Woo! Oh, God. Okay, Jordan now, who's a grown man. Yeah. <whistles> is uh, that. He's going to have a little game of Slippy Hill. Off he goes. And he's going to fall down in a minute. Let's see. No, this oh, is oh, I told you. Oh, no, I'm down onto his little hairy oh, chest. Oh, God. That's pretty hard to be fair. Oh! Oh! Baby, yeah, done the boom boom, oh, boy. Right there, Jordan has put a grand down on a greyhound and he's dancing to the pipes of John Fashion Oh, God. Get up there and have another go, Jordan. Ali Reid washing off his feet. Oh. Ooh, look at this, the backwards technique. Nice twist the boy. Oh. No, watch the sky, Ow. Jordan. <laughs> God. Oh. Ow. <laughs> right, get him a plate of chicken nuggets or something. He needs a bit of gusto here as he goes down the hill. Off he goes, John. This is looking great. He's doing the side, side John. He's doing the side, John. Yes, goodbye. Woo! Who's the man now? Not, Not yet. yet. Not, Not yet, yet. John. A couple of years. Back to the runway now for Northern Tank Driver D. In order to beat the Yum Yum, first you must understand the Yum Yum. Yeah. It's so annoying. Considering you didn't know what a Yum Yum was, it's not going to happen because you're on your last attempt, Dean. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have this one. Dean loses 15 lives. He's got 33 left. Beaten by a donut. Bit of respect, uh, man. It's not a donut. Without doubt, one of the most frustrating things I've ever done in my life. And this guy's played Connect Four with a tarantula. <sighs> Coming up, Carol wins tickets to a Tiesto gig. A gas that is on attractiveness, Dominic crashes his motorbike. And Dean... Don't panic! ...has diarrhea. Gabba's a past the the sweaty solar system. The players here showing complete disregard for oh, gravitation and physics or any oh, discovery made by Einstein or even Newton. So far, things are looking good for Leo, Carr and Jordan. But the others have work to do if they want to succeed in this stinky cabaret. All right, now over the Slippy Hill with Actar, the mad chicken man. Oh, it's cold. I'm ready. Off he goes. And he's just said that he was ready. He looks very ready. Oh. That's a yeah. slam in the tie. Standing up now to make his way down the hill. Oh, no more falling, please. There's going to be loads more falling. Tons of falling, oh. Actor. Tons Millions of falling. Of falling. really hard. Second attempt now for Actor. That was a bad fall. Very good now that he has that helmet on. Oh. He's going to stay on his head. Oh, he's got a chin strap, bad. you see. Did you know the chin strap wasn't invented until the 70s? No. Yeah, it's true. Do you know why it was invented? No, go on. My uncle Christy, right? Yeah. He 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 used to keep ganders, but he wanted to contain them in a field. Yeah. He didn't want to pay for an electric fence, so yeah. he just hooked his own electric fence up to the mains in the house. Yeah. And then his friend called around. He was wearing a very fetching hat. Oh, yeah. and, and Christy, of course, he was still holding on to the electric fence, and he yes. shook the man's hand. Yeah. And the man's hat flew off. Oh my God. And a side wind caught the hat and blown it away, and it was never found again. And that man went off and he patented the chin strap. Very good. And he never gave Christy nothing. Ah, oh, that's heartbreaking, man. That's the story of humanity, that is. Oh, yeah. Speaking of humanity, Actor has 12 lives left. I'm sick of Actor now. Will we go over to the, the hangar? Will no. We... Let's go to the hangar. No. Come on, we go to the hangar. All right, it's full of dudes. Over now to Leo with his long appendages to play Sweet Corn Drop. Sweet corn on a plate, he's got long arms. Pick it up, put it into his mouth. All right, here we go. Got to use the thumbs. Just like to invite okay, people at home like to laugh at to this. Try. It's okay, oh, they're not his real are. arms. It's oh. not offensive. He's dropped the cotton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got the sweet corn. Go on, he picks up the piece of maize using his long rubber arms and it. Ah, oh, no. shin wallop. Oh, where's my lip? All right, here we go. Here we go, got the sweet corn. Ah! Six foot long arms and he just went straight into his gas. Swally! 
eat the corn. He didn't get an opportunity to chew it, so there's a good chance it'll come out solid. Go on, you corn swallowing yeah, fencing spy. Look at him. Leo has knocked up three wins in Sleepy Hill. Yum yum run and sweet corn drop. Two more and he'll beat the shit. Dominic the big police man is on tiny bike. And what he has to do here is ride the tiny bike across the veranda without taking his feet off the pedals on his bum off the side of the simple stuff. This bike is so small. That pink looks so down. hot in him, doesn't it? It does him, boy. Whoa. Off he goes. Oh, no. Mm. Getting oh, furiously angry now. Look at this. Off for a game of madman soccer. Getting very angry. Very furious man. Slash. Fall shy of the veranda. To the white chap with Porsche. Oh. Disappointed with himself. Disappointed with the veranda. Another attempt now for Dominic. Oh, bosh! Angling for farthings in the gas works. Slow motion now, we'll get it. You can see he's off to Barnsley on a gin crawl. Two tickets to see Chris the Borg in an underground car park. Last chance, yeah? Last chance, Dominic. But he hasn't managed to get far now, has he? See. We'll oh, see now. Oh, no. no way, Jose. Now, Dominic had to pull out because he had a bum knee. And he's left a Dominic shaped hole in the show, and I'm going to crawl into it. Try for myself. So, with our first contestant out of the game for medical reasons, let's go over to the hangar to see Cara play Sweet Corn Trap. Earlier today, she failed Sleepy Hill and Grind Crescent. She has 26 lives remaining, and this is her first attempt at the captain. Lifting dinner, plastic thumbs. Is it gonna be a Rocky Balboa? Or is it gonna be Slurry Monkey? Chumpy Chump! Gobble, gobble! Go on, Kara! Okay, yeah. You didn't done it, you were cheating. Your back wasn't against the. Your back wasn't against the team there. Are you Billy Baldwin is gonna come That's on and show her. There he is. Oh, Off he goes oh. again. Lifting dinner! Oh, no. Can't discharge, wipe it off the chin with your purple arm. Go on, Kara! Doing the reach around corn tango. Is it going to be mouth famine? It won't! Slime time in the Fast. mouth. Yummy, yummy. She's a victory girl. <laughs> Scratching the roof. Ain't no cobwebs on her. She's played four games and has won two. She's got 24 lives remaining. This girl is one to watch. Another one to watch is Benji. Give me Benji fever. He's about to play grind crossing. Come on now, Benjamin. We've already seen him play two games and win one. You, you. Can he give me the cross on cure? Especially you. Getting off me. All right, these cross ants are going to get him off. Using a good up down <laughs> leg technique there. Never seen before. <laughs> Never seen before technique. Jumping. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Slow motion there now. Look at that. Ooh. No carb diet. Get rid of the carbs. <laughs> Get rid of the plastic That's carbs. good thinking they'll get rid of the carbs as he jettisons the carbohydrates. Very clever boy here, yeah, very clever boy. He's by. thinking them off. He's thinking them off, look. <laughs> very good. <laughs> right, there's two of them left there on the... Uh, oh, that's me. Tie. Bish, bash, boss. There's one on the, on the back, there's I believe. A sneaky one in the rear, yeah. Like an external liver. <laughs> oh, Benji. Come on. Fail. It's just this one left. How ironic. Like and rain on your wedding day. Yeah, uh, mate. Come on now, Benji. Get off my body. Oh, oh mate. Get Go on, play. Off. Oh, the frustration. That's a fear. This is your 15th and final attempt. Get off! Oh, come, come on, Benji. Come on, Benji. Come on. Come on. Tantrum. Use the power of tantrum to remove the cross and then it's fair. <laughs> Look, look, look. Pulling the cross on off himself. Mate, that was hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Across two series, not one contestant managed to beat this game. And he lost all of her 15 lives and said to beat this game. Jordan! 
You're gone way off, man. I know, man. We're all over the place. And Andrea Lassell, 15 lies. My Panamanian princess. Mm. Can we never sing again, please? I want to sing loads, man. Oh, it doesn't go off. Incredible. Don't panic. Not panicking, Dean, all right? Thank mad Dean. He goes down quite nicely here. Very good. I thought it was going to be bad, man, but this 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 attempt is pretty good. Oh, touch there, no. it's out, but this is going to be promising. He's going for it? the Eastbourne Crab attempt here. He looks like he's conducting a little orchestra for himself, but that's no good to him here. Very elegant, man. Oh boy. Not happy. Playing a game of conkers with the run. Oh. Sweaty and tired. The preschool steamroller takes oh. on the hill. Right, uh, he showed a lot of promise in the game earlier on. A lot of balance, didn't he? A lot of balance. Look at this. Hold on a minute, now what's happening here? Oh, Crows is over the black line. Get in. Get in. It's like sitting in a room on your own. What Slippy Hill is like. Lovely assessment there, isn't it? Spot on. Yeah. So, well done. Great dance, too. There he is crossing the finish line like if Kermit the Frog and the Fonz had a child and it grew up to be a middle-aged man. OK, so over to musical chair now with Cara. She will dance blindfolded to the music in her ears. Once the music stops, she has ten seconds to find and sit on the red chair. That's it. Here oh she is now. God. Let's do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's listening to the Happy Mondays or it could be the Stone Roses. I know, one of those Manchester fringe haircut bands. Definitely not Morrissey, anyway. Ah! Off she goes, butt first into the distance. Moving it's a good technique. Step. Looks like it's working. Rewinding herself like a copy of the Taylor of Panama featuring Brendan Gleeson. Can she do it? No, it's a bad squad. It's a fail, Cara. Now let's get a Montague of our other contestants who made a hen's nest of this game. There's Amy dancing to 70s novelty music. Keep a fluttering in the English wind. Oh, yeah. Andrea, Ooh. listening to some Joy Division. There's some good music going on. First time she's ever heard this. Axa, what's he listening to? George Farnby. Oh, yes, That's the man who invented that healthy grill. That no, different man altogether. Different George. Oh, oh okay, no. his ear hats are falling off. Off he, off he goes. Off he goes. In the old direction. He's got a good technique. Watch this. One bum down. Multiple squats. Multiple squatting this technique. This man's going to win. Oh, what the... <laughs> All right, here's uh, Amy. Amy, let's see how she does. Come on, now. Oh, your mind's a bit, Looking down That's at a boat that doesn't oh. exist. Gone off the shore. Oh, That's Neil Lives! Gone. Away with you, lady. Oh. Back to Andrea down to her last life. After seeing her tush and some floor nettles. Maybe here. Oh, one yeah. life, Neil. Gone. Andrea what? is gone. Game over. Okay. Ah, oh, goodbye. Bye. That's two losers. Right now, back to actor. Come on, can he do it? Can he do no. it for the team? He felt the chair. Oh, oh crumbs. Hoisted by his own multiple thrusting. Phil. That's Neil Lives! That's now. three of them. Bloody dear. Game over! The only can try in life, I suppose. But it's okay, life moves on, I suppose. All right, back now to Cara. Uh, Cara. She's in with a shot now. Look at that, 16 lives. All right, now, come Listening on. Listening to a bit of rock and roll music Jeez, in the restaurant of her head. She Come runs on, no. buttward towards the chair. She knows where it is. Good, healthy yeah, amount of seconds. Let's go. There you go. You've done it. He's yeah. done it. Well done, Cara. Excellent. Go on. Play. Yeah, Ali Ali's Hanel. not having any of that. No, he's not, man. He doesn't do fives. He's more of a four man. Coming up, George Lazenby, Sean Connery, <laughs> Timothy Dalton. It's the almost impossible James Bond. Where today's contestants are trying to beat five games without losing all of their 50 lives. Leo's going great guns. Cara 
Gomez looking like she might have a chance. And young Jordan is doing well despite injuring himself on every game he plays. Oh. 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 When's this day going to be over? <laughs> he's won three games so far and he's 18 lives left. His next challenge is Tony oh. Bike. Or as he calls it, a bike. Oh, that hurt. Well, he goes. Decent attempt. But there you go, a quarter of the way. There he is now struggling to get his bike through mud customs. Oh, it's been God. seized. Now he's got his foot stuck in there. But well, he's had his dinner, I've been informed. He has a full he did, belly. He? Yeah, he yeah, got his dinner, chicken yeah. Chicken nuggets. Oh, 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 Having a go at it. Billy Baldwin puts a cream bun in her hand. I want the cream in my face. She trons it up and she has to catch it in her mouth. It's that easy. It's that simple. If you want to read the instructions, push the red button on the back of your husband's head. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no, that's just ridiculous. No. Not no. good. No. Not good. Oh, oh no. got a bit on her schnoz there. Oh dear. Several failed attempts. Look at it there. The fondant fox has come out of his den and he's spat all over your chin. Oh, pearl necklace there from Harrods. Down to her last knife. Ah, it's wide. It's oh, wide. It's wide. Oh, she bought it out wide. Failed. Sorry, that sorry, Carla. Failed. Sorry to lose you. That's all your life's gone. Off the shot. As the numbers diminish, we join Georgina at the pool taking on belly flop. A ball is fired across the pool and all Georgina has to do is time her belly flop to perfection so she lands belly first onto the ball. She's down to her last life. Uh, right, on the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Game over. Let's get that in slow motion. Straight in now. Lips full of the christened whiskey. <laughs> she reminds me a bit of a black and white cow. Why? Because she's freezing. <laughs> really hard to get the timing right, and I can't hear anything. <laughs> bye bye, Tortilla. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Lovely gettle. After the tunnel, where man Dean is going to splatter his face with fondant. Dean has just beaten Tiny Bike, which means he has won three games. There's eleven lives left. <laughs> Not going well. Oh, misjudging the fling. It's very good. Stupidly easily hard, if that makes sense. Doesn't. Oh, vigorous flick. Calm down, Dean. Oh, oh. man. Looking there now like uh, Ross Kemp, who's fallen on hard times and has to do a bit of paint and decorating. Mm, right. Another attempt for Dean. Oh, that is absolutely garbage. Your queen won't like that, Dean. Your queen will not like that at all. Bye bye, ah. Dean. Oh, you're covered in cream, looking very suspicious, smelling very suspicious, and no lives left. Dean, they're what talking about the uh, the time he worked as a spy and had to dress up as a snowman. Back to the pole to see Benji, who's playing belly flap. Earlier today, he lost 15 lives. Play musical chair. He's one life remaining in the game. And this is his fourth attempt. Must be one at all times. Lovely delivery there, man. Mm. This is cold. All right. Time. Come on, lad. Mate. He's got one life left to sink the yellow Death Star. Come on. Come on. Any bite. Oh, no. He's drowned. All his lives. Gone. Bye bye. Game over. It is indeed. Mate. My mates aren't there. 
make two veg into the pool. Oh, bye. Jordan has just given up an excellent game of Lego to play Cream Fling. He's got nine lives less, and if he wins this, he'll beat the show. Can he do I it? Let's see. This will be much harder. Can you please move this from my eyes? Right, he's not supposed to be blindfolded. You're being really harsh for me. Okay. Practicing the flick, feed the pony technique there. Run it into your gob. Ow! Oh. Oh. Ten scenes here. Oh. Far head full of cream. Oh, Jordan! Oh, I'm in the gob. No. Getting nervous now, but I'm getting even closer. Oh! No, he's done his last life now. Oh, God. Oh, it's gone in my wait, eye. Wait. Cream's in my eye. There's cream in his eye. Serious issue for a health and safety advisor. Huge issue. What are we, what's he going to do? Just watch dairy all day. It's going to be removed from oh, his eye. Oh, Billy Baldwin's oh, going to oh, wipe oh, it out oh. with a snowball really gloves. Well Very hard for a health and safety advisor to ask another man to touch his eye, but there you go. It's, you know, Jordan. He's got one Jordan. life left. He's just prolonging the time he has Charlie's left done. in existence. That's all Charlie's he's done. done. Like a man on death row. He flicks a bun in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Ah. Oh no. Boo! Over. Right, send him home Nappy. into his bathtub with a rubber so ducky. I'm not really happy. Round of applause from Round of there. applause, he deserves that. So let's go over to Leo now, who has done a great job and beaten four games. So far, he has won on Tiny Bike. Uh, he's about to play a musical chair. And if he beats this, it means he's going to take home a trophy and win the entire show. I feel like I've got the momentum, but I'm not looking forward to this game, which just seems sounds horrible. <laughs> oh, Look at his smiley face. I really like this man. Smiley. And he's a bit of a mover too, isn't he? Great moves, man. Funky jam. Uh, no. Oh, uh, hello? Music? Yeah, run. Run, run man. Uh, come on, run the distance. Distance. Come on. Look at that for a technique. Cover, cover uh, tons of ground. Tons of ground being covered here. <laughs> the ears are far oh, enough. Oh, the, the hat crap is gone. Ah. So you have to keep those on, otherwise you can hear the chair. Dancing to excellent uh. tunes. Right, going for that crab technique. I mm. cover as much ground as I can. Maybe I'll bump into it. The Bristol crab technique is working out well for this fella. Can he do it? No, time is gone. Ah. Oh, he's going in the right, right direction here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Going, going, going. Gonna find oh, it oh, with oh, his oh, bomb. Oh, oh, oh. Bullseye. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ziggy yeah. Stardust. He has just beaten the show. He's beaten the game. He's getting the Gilden Trophy. Excellent. Oh, and he's yeah. done it with 16 lives left. Nobody has done that on the almost impossible game show before. It's a first. Oliver Reed there presenting him with the Golden Trophy. Look at it there. And of course, close up on Ali as he thinks about all the things he's done. Yes. Dark man. Come on. He deserves it. He deserves it. Wait, what's this? He's forgotten something very important. What did he forget? To ring his mammy. Hello? Mum? Nah, she doesn't Mom. care, man. She wants to hear about real achievements. Like medical school. So that was the show. Ten people came. Nine people got pelted with rocks at an illegal fox hunt. And one medical student took the game show out for a pint to tell it some difficult, troubling news about its sister. By which I mean he won. But a health and safety advisor came kind of close. That poor, poor little bay. Let's finish with a blurred out doorknob trying to get a peek at the dock worker's dandy. 